today we're going to be making these cute little swings for your car mirror or you can hang them up any way you'd like really they're adorable um, I'm going to be making this one and if you want all the colors and everything and all the yarn that I've used I will link that down below in the description box for you as well as the color combinations is stuck one stuck two and I will link them below so let's get into making these little guys so I'll be using this lovely yellow color as well as a cream and a black of course you can use any kind of colors that you want any kind of yarn that you'd like and i'll link everything i've used down below in the description box for you and i'm also going to be using a four millimeter hook so to start off with we're going to use our black yarn we're going to make a slip knot with our yarn pop our hook in and pull tight we're then going to chain seven one two three four five six and seven and we're going to put one single crochet into each stitch all the way down so we're starting from the second chain from the hook so we'll have six single crochets all the way down Once we've done that, we're going to chain one and turn our work. And we're going to put one single crochet into each stitch all the way down. And we're going to repeat that for a total of two rows. So we'll repeat this row, chain one, and repeat again on the next row. Okay, so I've now got my three rows of six single crochets on each row. And I'm going to find the middle row and I'm going to slip stitch into it from here. Just like so. We're then going to chain up a total of 70. And this will be the swing part. Once we've finished our chain of 70, we're going to come across to the other side and to the middle row, and we're just going to slip stitch into there. Chain one, and then fasten off. And you can then just weave in the ends, and that is the little swing done. We're now going to start making the little duck, and we're going to use the cream colour for the duck, and then we can use the yellow for the beak. You can use any colours you prefer. I'm just going with these ones because it's what my daughter asked for. So to begin with, you can either make a magic ring or you can chain two. With chenille yarn, I prefer to chain two because it doesn't get stuck. Um, and like the magic ring, I just, I'm a big believer in the chain two with this kind of yarn. So I'm going to pop my hook in with a slip knot. I'm going to chain up two. And then that second one from our hook is going to be our ring so I'm going to pop six single crochets into that little ring and as you can see with Chanel yarn it closes it pretty nicely for you no holes for the next round, I'm going to increase into each stitch all the way around. So we should have a total of 12 single crochets at the end of this round. So for the next round, we're going to start by increasing in the first stitch. One and two. I'm then going to take my stitch marker and pop it in on the first single crochet of the round. Then we're going to put one single crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to repeat that all the way around. So we put two single crochets into the next stitch, so increasing, then one single crochet into the next. Repeat that all the way around and you should have a total of 18 single crochets at the end of this round. So for the next five rows, you're going to put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, and you should have a total of 18 single crochets. So we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around for a total of five rows. Once you've done your five rows of single crochet, we're then going to put one single crochet in each of the next two stitches one and two then in the next one we're going to put a bubble stitch so we're going to yarn over go into the stitch yarn over bring up a loop yarn over pull through two 
and we're going to repeat that two more times. So yarn over, into the stitch, yarn over, fill up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So you're essentially making half of your double crochet. Once you've done that, you should have four loops on the hook. You're then going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. Then back to your main row, we're going to put two single crochets. One and two. And then we're going to do another bobble stitch. So we're going to yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, into the same stitch, yarn over, fill up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. One more time, yarn over, into the same stitch, yarn over, fill up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And you should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all four. Then we're going to single crochet around until you get to the beginning again and twirl. For the next row, we're going to be doing a decrease row. So we're going to put a single crochet into the first stitch. Then we are going to do an invisible decrease, which means we go through just the front loop only of the next stitch. And then the front loop only of the next stitch after that. Yarn over, pull through both of those two loops. Yarn over, pull through two. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. So we're going to put one single crochet and then a decrease all the way around until you get back to the beginning. So at the end of that round, you should have a total of 12 single crochets left. And now we're going to pop the eyes in as well as skirt. So I'm just going to grab my eyes quickly. And I am using these tiny little eyes here because I think they look really, really cute. You can use any size eyes that you'd like, but the ones that I'm using, I will be linking down below in the description box for you. So I'm popping my eyes on between rows four and five. If you want to put them up higher or lower, that is completely up to you. It's your little ducky, but mine are between four and five. And I'm going to put them four stitches apart. So one, two, three, four, and then in. Okay, so that's the little eyes in, and now we're just going to stuff. Once you've stuffed it as much as you'd like, you can then start finishing the round. So we're going to decrease in every single stitch all the way around for the next round, and you will have a total of six single crochets left at the end of this round. So we're just going to do an invisible decrease, going in through the front loop, and then in through the next front loop, pull through those two, and then we're going to finish off our single crochet. Repeat that all the way around, and I will meet you when you have finished this round. So once you've finished your decreases, you're going to slip stitch to the next stitch to fasten off, and we're going to leave a nice long tail as well. Once you've done that, you can also fill the little hole there as well to make sure it's fully stuffed. I'm just going to wrap it around my finger a few times and then hold. It keeps it open for us. Then grab some more stuffing and pop that in. And I'm going to use the tip of my scissors just to push that in. Once I've done that, I'm going to weave around the opening so that I can pull it closed. Then we're going to secure it by just pulling through our yarn like so. Then we're going to go up through the body and to the side like this. And that is how we're going to sew the little duck onto our swing. So we're going to grab our swing again. And we're going to pop him on the seat, so he sits on nicely. Then we're going to lay the swing handle flat against our little duck and grab our seam yarn 
then we're going to go around that swing arm so laying that flat and holding it tight we're going to go around the swing arm just like so and pull tight and we're just going to keep doing that a few times so we can make that nice and thick Then on the last round we're going to go in and we're going to go straight across to this other side just make sure we've got it on the same row and we're going to grab the other side of our swing pop it on and do the same so we're coming up through the back And then we're going to come back down and out the same space just like so and then you're just going to repeat that a few times again and then on your last way round, we're going to bring it down to the bottom and then we're going to Try a knot to secure. Then you want to weave it through, and that is your little ducky attached to the swing. And we're missing one thing. You could keep it like this as a little ghost if you wanted to. It looks cute and great for Halloween, but we want to turn it into a little ducky, so we're going to grab the yellow yarn. So for the beak, you're just going to grab a length of yarn. We're going to embroider this on. So we're going to pop it onto our needle. And then we're going to go from one side under the eye to the other side under the eye and pull that through. Hold this bit down with your thumb and then go back through again. And we're just going to do that a couple of times until you have the beak how you want it. Then we're going to tie this into a knot at the side of its mouth, or the side of its beak, and double knot, sure it's nice and snug, and then we're going to weave this through to the other side. Get those ends in nice and snug. I'm just going to finish off by sorting these little tail ends out. And that's your little ducky ready to sit on your mirror in your car. Or it can hang from your bed if you want it to. It can hang from anywhere. It's really cute, really quick and easy. And I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, guys. If you want the written pattern, I will link that below for you as well. Bye for now.